Peter Gustav Dirichlet was born February 13, 1805. He was the seventh and last child to his parents. Dirichlet was a very smart child, and he showed an interest in math at a very young age. At the age of 12, he would use his pocket money to buy math books, and when asked if he understood them, he said no, but he said he would read them over and over again until he would finally understand. At the age of 16, and only after a year at this private school in Germany, he decided to leave with a school leaving certificate. Soon after, with the education he had, he became a tutor for the famous French general, General Foy's children, and the family treated him as one of their own. He was able to interact with many famous French celebrities that came to the home of General Foy, and this really helped him develop his social skills. His first scientific work closely related to Fermat's last theorem of 1637. He submitted a paper on this theorem to the French Academy of Sciences. He made the first significant contribution to Fermat's claim more than 50 years after Euler, and this helped him establish an excellent uh, reputation as a mathematician. Sadly, the paper submitted to the French Academy of Sciences by Dirichlet before never actually got published. But at the age of 20, he, with no degree and nothing published before, he got permission to lecture his work to the members of the Academy. Five of his most important work created throughout his life include the Fourier series, Dirichlet's Theorem on Primes and Arithmetical Progression, Dirichlet's Class Number Formula, Dirichlet's Unit Theorem, and finally, Dirichlet's Principle. Next, I would like to introduce to you my proof, and it is the proof of the Squeeze Theorem. So overall, this theorem states, if f of x is less than or equal to g of x, which is less than or equal to h of x, for all x in an open interval that contains a, except possibly at a, and the limit as x approaches a of f of x equals the limit of h of x, which equals l, then the limit of g of x as x approaches a is equal to l also. Let epsilon be greater than zero be given. Since the limit of f of x as x approaches a equals l, there is a number in delta sub one that's greater than zero, such that if zero was less than the absolute value of x minus a, would be less than delta sub 1. Then, the absolute value of f of x minus l is less than epsilon. That is, if 0 less than the absolute value of x minus a less than delta sub 1, then l minus epsilon is less than f of x, which is less than l plus epsilon. Since the limit of h of x as x approaches a is equal to l, there is a number in delta sub 2 which is greater than 0, such that if 0 is less than the absolute value of x minus a, which is less than delta sub 2, then the absolute value of h of x minus l is less than epsilon. That is, if 0 less than the absolute value of x minus a is less than epsilon sub 2, then l 
minus epsilon is less than h of x, which is less than L plus epsilon. Let delta equal the minimum between delta sub 1 and delta sub 2. If 0 is less than the absolute value of x minus a, which is less than delta, then 0 is less than x minus a, which is less than delta sub 1, and 0 is less than the absolute value of x minus a, which is less than delta sub 2. So, L minus epsilon is less than f of x, which is less than or equal to g of x, which is less than or equal to h of x, which is less than L plus epsilon. In particular, L minus epsilon is less than g of x, which is less than L plus epsilon. So, the absolute value of g of x minus L is less than epsilon. Therefore, the limit of g of x as x approaches a is equal to L. Here is the theorem put into a visual format. There is one function called h of x, and there is a second function called f of x that both have a particular point which have the same limit. By the squeeze theorem, there is a third function called g of x that also has the same point that has the same limit in between the h of x and f of x function. Finally, here you go. This is your review question. The review question can be found in the book at the end of chapter 1 in the chapter 1 review, and it is question number 41. The question itself states, prove the statement using the precise definition of a limit. Of the limit of 14 minus 5x, as x approaches 2, is equal to 4.